Endless ocean, a fresh breeze, and warm rays of the sun. Everything we love about beaches. Sometimes during a relaxing vacation, the unexpected occurs. In this compilation, I've gathered for you 15 incredible videos about incidents on beaches that you would never believe if they weren't captured on camera. Enjoy the viewing. In late July 2023, an unusual phenomenon occurred on the southern beaches of San Diego, California. All the beaches along the coast were invaded by small red pelagic crabs. Numerous videos online show the invasion of these crustaceans, revealing countless tiny crabs covering the beaches entirely. This species of crabs is small, ranging from 2.5 to 7.5 centimeters. They usually inhabit the Mexican Baja Peninsula, but sometimes warmer currents can push them further north. Scientists have tried to explain why California was invaded by so many crabs. According to them, these large gatherings of arthropods are formed due to inflows of warm water. In 2022, a massive warm water basin formed in the Pacific Ocean between Mexico and Canada. Scientists are trying to understand its nature, but have so far been unsuccessful. Similar crab outflows of this species already occurred in 1997 and 2002. In all three cases, the invasion was linked to the inflow of warm waters into the ocean. While the phenomenon looks unusual and it seems one could easily catch a kilogram of these little arthropods for dinner, scientists do not recommend eating them, as they may contain toxins harmful to humans. Imagine you're peacefully relaxing on the beach, enjoying the sunny weather, when suddenly, right before your eyes, a real police chase for a criminal begins. That's exactly what happened to a drone owner who decided to capture the incident from a bird's eye view. In the footage, you can see a man running from the police through the water, hoping that the officers won't be able to catch him. At first, it seems like he's doing an excellent job, but eventually, he falls and gets caught. This incident occurred on Venice Beach in Los Angeles. It turns out that the police had been chasing the criminal, who had committed burglary, for half an hour. They even pursued him in cars but were unable to catch the nimble guy. He then reached the beach and continued to run through the water to the Santa Monica Pier. However, stamina isn't endless, and due to a clumsy fall, he was eventually arrested. Another similar incident occurred on the same beach. Again, a vacationer managed to capture footage of lawbreakers being detained. A group of young people drank excessively on the beach and decided to harass other guys. They also tried to use force, wielding beach umbrellas in the process. Fortunately, the police arrived on time, and a fight was avoided. In one of the books of the Old Testament, it is told how the prophet Jonah was swallowed by a whale and stayed in its belly for three days and three nights. Two American women named Julie McSorley and Liz Cottrell almost turned this biblical story into real life. If their encounter with a whale hadn't been captured by a drone, no one would have believed it. In the San Luis Passage on the Pacific coast, humpback whales are often seen. Early in the morning, the heroines of the story decided to get a closer look at how these giant marine animals feed. However, the women paddled too close to a school of fish, which was quickly followed by a whale. In the footage, you can see the enormous animal emerging from the water and practically lunging at the boat with the women. It seems as though they, along with their kayak and fish, were swallowed. But the story has a happy ending. In interviews, the women mentioned that they suddenly saw a school of fish right in front of them followed by the whale. They tried to paddle away from the spot as quickly as possible, but it was too late. They never fully understood what happened next, but the important thing is that they survived. Rescuers who arrived shortly afterward helped them get out of the water, and the Americans were not injured. Now they definitely have a story to tell their grandchildren. In June 2023, residents around Bryan Beach witnessed an unsettling sight and some decided to capture the event. The entire coastline was filled with thousands of dead fish. This mass die-off of Menhaden fish was caused by multiple factors, including a sudden rise in water temperature. Scientists explained that warmer water contains much less oxygen, and this species of fish requires a high level of oxygen. When the water temperature rises above 21 degrees Celsius, there's not enough oxygen for them to survive, and they begin to die. 
Hot summers are not unusual for Texas, but such a fish die-off had not been seen for a long time. In addition to the sudden rise in water temperature, the area had been very cloudy following a severe drought. The water along the coast became shallower and much warmer. The absence of sunlight further reduced the oxygen levels in the water. Besides menhaden fish, rays and other marine life also suffered from the harsh weather conditions. Sometimes one can encounter interesting and even rare underwater inhabitants on beaches, like enormous turtles. Naturally, tourists try to capture shots of these giants right away. Several vacationers on a secluded beach were lucky enough to see a large leatherback turtle that was more than two meters long. While the tourists tried to photograph the reptile, the turtle leisurely made its way towards the water. Sometimes large turtles wash up on the shore after their death. For example, this female leatherback turtle had lived a long life and died due to old age. Special equipment was even required to remove her from the beach. In rare cases, tourists may encounter giant turtles that have accidentally flipped onto their backs. For example, a British veterinarian witnessed such an incident. Unfortunately, the woman couldn't help the turtle on her own since it weighed more than 900 kilograms. However, she didn't leave the turtle to die and sought help from a wildlife reserve. Upon examination, it turned out that the reptile was also injured. Veterinarians provided first aid and released it back into the wild. Many tourists go on excursions into the open ocean to witness an awe-inspiring show, the incredible breaches of humpback whales. Thanks to these videos, you can experience the breathtaking sight of a 13-meter-long whale weighing around 30 tons, leaping out of the water and splashing back down. Humpback whales are considered the most playful and lively among baleen whales. They incredibly enjoy slapping the water's surface with their pectoral fins to create foam around them. Then the animals start splashing in the foam, rolling from their belly to their back and vice versa. But their favorite activity is breaching. The whales leap out of the water in a vertical position, lifting about 90% of their body into the air, and then crash back down with a resounding splash. This activity is highly energy-consuming, as lifting their own mass for such an acrobatic trick is no simple feat. To do this, the whales dive deep underwater and then accelerate to speeds up to 30 km per h to achieve maximum thrust. Despite this, humpback whales are among the slowest moving of their kin. Their average migration speed is around 8 to 10 kilometers per h. The reason why whales engage in such breaches remains a mystery to scientists. Among the explanations for this behavior, it is suggested that the animals are playing with each other and that breaching helps them get rid of parasites. But according to the most widely accepted hypothesis, the breaches serve as a form of communication among whales. The sound waves generated from the splash propagate a sufficient distance to let another individual know that its kin are nearby. Starting from 2016, more and more photos began to appear online of whales washed up on the east coast of America. Over the last seven years, 101 dead whales have been found. This situation has alarmed the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, as this mortality rate could lead to a catastrophic reduction in population. Scientists started research to determine the cause of these mammal deaths. One theory suggested that wind farms were having a detrimental impact on the whales. The generators emit infrasound noise, which could disorient whales that communicate using high-frequency sounds, leading them to beach themselves. This theory was tested but remained unproven. Analysis of the remains of the dead whales showed that 40% of them died from various injuries, such as collisions with ships or entanglement in nets. This led researchers to discover that the whale population had increased in one of the bays, and young whales began to migrate to the Atlantic coast. During migration, they often encounter ships, which can lead to fatal injuries. Undoubtedly, everyone has heard that human waste is polluting our planet. But to grasp the scale of the problem, let's take a look at some images. Oil has always been considered a cause of ocean pollution, but oil waste accounts for only 12% of the total pollution. The majority of trash in the water and on beaches consists of plastic waste. 
According to experts, there are over 5 trillion tons of plastic in the world's oceans, of which only 269,000 tons float on the surface and along the coasts. In the Pacific Ocean, between California and the Hawaiian Islands, lies one of the most polluted areas of the entire ocean. Aerial photography reveals a massive garbage patch covering nearly 1.5 million square kilometers. Just imagine the danger this dump poses to ocean life. Clumps of plastic particles resemble jellyfish and are often consumed by predatory fish. Birds frequently swallow bottle caps and rings, feeding them to their chicks. As a result, both animals and birds are doomed to die. In addition to plastic, industrial carbon is also being dumped into the ocean. This happens because most enterprises neglect the cost of pre-treatment of their waste. Some beaches are also now filled with trash. For example, Baina in Goa or Bay of Haina in the Dominican Republic. Some volunteers, of course, try to clean up their local beaches, but most of the time this is almost useless, as careless people continue to leave their trash behind. Human waste takes a long time to decompose. For instance, aluminum takes about 200 years, styrofoam at least 80 years, and plastic over 400 years. And stopping this terrible pollution is possible? All that's required is simply disposing of trash in designated places. The author of this video managed to accidentally capture impressive and at the same time frightening footage. It shows a full-fledged armed army arriving at one of the beaches on the Mexican coast. A large number of soldiers, tanks, and military ships, it all looks as if a war is about to start. In reality, no military actions followed the army's arrival. The soldiers and military equipment were merely carrying out an order from the Mexican government. In the spring of 2023, eight people were killed on the popular tourist beaches of Acapulco and Cancun. Authorities decided that the safety of the vacationers was paramount, so about 8,000 soldiers from the Naval National Guard were sent to the coastal cities of the country. The video's author managed to capture the moment they began patrolling, and these shots turned out to be incredibly spectacular. The creator of this video managed to capture, perhaps, one of the most endearing moments in this compilation. Ernest and Viesia Godek decided to enjoy a beautiful September day on their fishing boat. They had ventured quite a distance away from the shore in Petter Bay when they suddenly spotted a pot of orcas. The man and woman were quite alarmed after hearing something hit the bottom of their boat. This wasn't their first time out in the bay. They often fished in this area, but something like this had never happened to them before. The orcas were heading their way when suddenly, something leapt out of the water and onto their boat. The couple thought it was an orca, but in reality, their uninvited guest was a sea lion. Apparently, the animal was frightened by the orcas and found the only way to keep itself safe by seeking help from humans. Despite the cute footage, the couple was quite scared, primarily because their boat was too small, and if even one more sea lion had jumped on board, the vessel certainly wouldn't have held up. After some time, the Godex realized they were safe. Moreover, their presence in the bay might have saved the sea lion's life. The couple offered the marine mammal some caught fish, and the animal left the boat. And so unfolds an unusual story with a happy ending. On March 11, 2011, off the eastern coast of the island of Honshu, the strongest earthquake in Japan's history occurred. Its magnitude was estimated at 9 on the Richter scale. The epicenter of the earthquake was in the Japan Trench. As a result of the earthquake, a powerful tsunami formed, affecting many Pacific coastal countries. However, Japan suffered the most. The tsunami struck Japanese cities instantaneously, and people simply didn't have time to evacuate. The towns of Minamisanriku, Rikazentakata, Sendai, and Yamada were the most severely affected. Waves reaching up to 10 meters destroyed everything in their path. There was nowhere for people to run, as escaping such a disaster was nearly impossible. The horrific devastation following the earthquake can be seen in footage taken by witnesses. But the tragedy for the Japanese did not end there. The tsunami led to a terrible nuclear disaster. 
Following the earthquake signal, the automatic safety system at the Fukushima 1 nuclear power plant shut down the reactors and initiated emergency cooling. However, the massive wave breached the protective barrier and tons of water flooded the basement areas, damaging the cooling systems. As a result, the reactors were damaged and a release of radioactive substances occurred. Japanese authorities did everything possible to stabilize the situation, but it will take 30 to 40 years to fully mitigate the consequences of the accident. In total, more than 19,000 people died as a result of the earthquake, and about 2,500 are still listed as missing. This tragedy is one of the largest in the world. In 2015, videos emerged of strange black balls filling several bodies of water in California. It was later discovered that these plastic spheres are used during severe droughts, which are characteristic of the state. Initially, the balls were used to deter birds in bodies of water near runways. Upon learning of this unusual technique, American scientist Brian White proposed using them to conserve water during droughts. Each ball costs no more than 36 cents, is made of plastic, and is no bigger than an average apple. Their black color is excellent for absorbing ultraviolet rays, heating the upper part while keeping the lower part cool. This effectively prevents water from evaporating. Additionally, the bodies of water remain clean as birds don't land on the balls. In total, about 96 million shade balls have been deployed in various lakes and reservoirs. Research has shown that the use of black balls has reduced the evaporation of water bodies by 90-92%, which is a remarkable result. However, there's a catch. When the balls come into contact with water and are exposed to the scorching sun, bisphenol A is released from the plastic. This chemical compound is found in plastic and epoxy resin and is considered very harmful to human and animal health. For now, the cost savings achieved by using the balls outweigh the harm of the released bisphenol A. Moreover, American scientists believe that the concentration of this substance in water bodies remains within permissible limits. In 2015, the oldest message in a bottle was found. The note was written more than 106 years ago. The discovery was made by a German woman named Marianne Winkler while she was strolling on the island of Amram. At first, the woman thought that the message held no value and was written recently, but she decided to take it home anyway. Marianne's husband, upon inspecting the bottle, decided to break it. Inside was a piece of paper with text written in three languages, German, Danish, and English. On the back of the paper was a unique questionnaire that the finder of the bottle was supposed to fill out and then send to the Marine Biological Association in Plymouth. The text stated that whoever returned the message would receive a shilling. The couple filled out the questionnaire and sent the note to Plymouth. It was then discovered that the message had been cast into the sea by the British scientist George Parker Bitter at the end of 1906. Along with this bottle, many others had been thrown into the sea as well. The purpose of these messages was to study currents, but the scientist never anticipated that some of them would travel for more than a hundred years before someone found them. The Marine Biological Association confirmed that the note was authentic. Moreover, the find was recognized by the Guinness Book of Records as the oldest message in the world. And, as promised in the note, the German couple received their shilling. The ocean is home to a large number of fish that are nearly impossible to see along the coast. The person behind this video was lucky to discover an incredibly rare oarfish. A New Zealander went to the coast near Otago Harbor in Aramoana to fish. There, he noticed an unfamiliar flat, silvery fish that was over 3.5 meters long. The man first recorded a video of his find and then contacted the New Zealand Nature Conservation Service. A staff member named David Egnew stated that he had never encountered an oarfish in his 20 years of work. For New Zealand, this is truly the first time this fish has been seen. This species is incredibly rare and lives at depths ranging from 300 to 1,000 meters. The fish have elongated bodies that can reach up to 11 meters in length. The longest one found washed up on a shore was discovered in California in 1996, measuring 7 meters in length. These fish look unusual. Their bodies are covered in thin skin that resembles foil. 
Along the back, there are about 400 rays of the dorsal fin. The fish's head is adorned with a long red crest. The tail fins may be entirely absent. This species was first discovered in 1772. Since they were virtually unknown to people, many were considered sea monsters and were called sea snakes. Residents and tourists in Hong Kong began posting unusual photos and videos featuring two impressively large rubber ducks. The inflatable birds are called double ducks, and they have been traveling the world for 10 years now. The creator of the project is Dutch artist Florentine Hoffman. His favorite activity is creating creative installations, and these twin ducks are one such project. The artist explained the idea of creating 18-meter tall toys by stating that people don't smile often enough, and this needs to change. It seems that his idea has been successful. In 2013, Hong Kong had only one yellow duck, and now, 10 years later, people are doubly happy to see its return accompanied by its twin sister. The double ducks have not only delighted Hong Kong residents, but have also traveled to countries such as Japan, the USA, and Korea, among many others. Florentin Hoffman designs his installations with a positive vibe. Among his famous works are a 25-meter-tall parachuting rabbit that brings joy to both children and adults in Taiwan, and a project called Punching the Coronavirus, a series of giant sculptures in the form of boxing gloves installed at various locations in the Netherlands. His inflatable ducks are designed to look exactly like the yellow rubber toys people often had for baths during their childhood. Looking at his installation, many people are transported back to that carefree time when they were still young. That's it for me. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to rate it, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell. Your engagement is the best reward for me. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Goodbye.